Praise the Lord. Yeah, as I welcome my bishop to come and minister to us, I want to announce that today is his birthday. So I'm <laughs> happy birthday, my bishop, my husband, my pastor. It's a great day. Amen. Amen. Today, 18th November, we celebrate him as my with my family as his birthday day. Amen. God bless you. Amen. 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 Hey, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I'm so happy to see all of you. And I thank God for every branch represented. I thank God for every pastor. If I had more time, I would start by giving thanks to you. But because I want to share the word, let me put it as one statement. Thank you for being part of my vision. Amen. 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 Tell your neighbor, Bishop appreciates you. Bishop is acknowledging you. Heavenly Father, bowing before you, we thank you. We declare that you deserve this praise. You deserve every bit of honor. Everything said about you is marvelous, is great. You are God Almighty. You are the Lord of our victory. Thank you, Jehovah Jireh. You are Jehovah Shama. Oh, Jehovah Shalom. Jehovah Shekendu. And Jehovah. Jehovah Rohi, Jehovah Rafa, Jehovah Elohim, we lift you. We glorify you. You are Jehovah Nisi. Every battle you have given us victory. We worship and we honor you today. Thank you for everybody under this voice. Physically or online. I declare the power of God shall flow upon the people of God and whatsoever we do and we say today we declare and decree an impact in the name of Jesus Father let our lives be no longer the same again because every time we gather under your grace with your eyes watching over us we always shift to a new dimension this is our conviction in Jesus name we pray Amen and Amen before you sit down we are used to this in this house. Put, put your right hand on your head. And say, this is my time to feed. This is my time to feed. On the word of life. On the word of life. From God. From God. I will never. I will never. Be the same again. Be the same again. My life will rise. My life will rise. To its real meaning. To its real meaning. And to the purpose of God. And to the purpose of God. For which I was born. For which, which I was born. So help me, O oh God. So help me, O oh God. Why don't you appreciate him again in faith? With confidence. Amen. 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 May the Lord bless you as you sit down. God bless you. Amen. 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 It has been a thread for a long time. 
that when bishop is having a kesha here ya kwamba kila wakati askofu ana kesha mahali hapa on that first of december tarehe 31 mwezi wa 12 pastor nick has a kesha in kabete nae pastor nick ako na kesha kule kabete pastor john has a kesha in na, uh, industrial area mchungaji john ako na kesha kule industrial area others in other region na wengine maeneo tofauti and so that time na kwa hivyo wakati huo we speak from different perspectives tunanena kutoka kwa mao kwa mambo tofauti. I want to believe. Nataka kuamini. There will be keshas on 31st of December. Tutakuwa na mikutano ya usiku kesha tarehe 31. But mine has begun. Lakini yangu imeanza. I've begun the kesha. Nimeanza huo mkesha. So I'm going to speak the message. Kwa hivyo nitanena huo ujumbe. That for the next 43 days. Ya kwamba siku 43 zijazo. You will put yourself in prayer. Utajiweka kwa maombi. We will go to prayer and fasting. Tutaenda kuomba na kufunga. In our respective areas. Kwa katika maeneo yetu. And on that first December. Kwa tarehe 31 December. The same message ule ujumbe huu ujumbe the pastors will speak ah uh, wachungaji wataunena even at a higher dimension hata ikiwa na ikiwa juu zaidi so what i'm doing today kwa hivyo kile ambacho nafanya siku ya leo i want to open your eyes ni kukufungua macho and then you know what to carry on na kisha utajua utabeba nini because i believe we are in the season kwa sababu naamini kwamba tuko katika majira amen amen do you believe that is good naamini uh, unaona hivyo ni vyema Hello. Hello. So if I'm going to visit your branch next year. Kwa hivyo kama nitatembelea eneo lako mwaka ujao. Whatever I will write there. Kile ambacho nitakuwa nimeandika mahali hapa. For 2024. Ya mwaka wa 2024. I will not allow any pastor. Sitakubali mchungaji yeyote to miss that writing. Akose hayo maandishi. So that we may move in the vision. Na ili tukaweze kuelekea katika maombi. So that we may grow together. Na ili tukaweze kukua pamoja. I'm making announcement because when I start preaching I might forget. Naanza kutangaza kwa sababu nikianza kuhubiri naweza sahau. Are we together? Tuko pamoja. Is it in order? Iko pa iko sawa. Hello. Hello. How many believe that what I speak I speak as I hear from above? Ni wangapi wanaamini kwamba kile ambacho ninanena ninanena kama nilivyosikia kutoka juu? Amen. Amen. Let me tell you what happened. Hebu niwaambie kilichofanyika. When I was starting praying for the season coming. Nilipoanza kuombea majira tunayoingia. The word that came came in a very mysterious way. Neno ambalo lilikuja lilikuja na njia ya kushangaza. I finished the service here. Nikamaliza ibada hapa. And I was going to speak in Nyadhona. Na nilikuwa naenda kuhudumu Nyadhona. I think that was end of September. Mwisho wa mwezi wa 9. And uh, while driving, na nilipokuwa nikiendesha, the issue of the mother church came. Ah uh, uh, jambo kuhusu kanisa letu la mother church likaja. I had even the message to go and share with Nyadhona. Hata nilikuwa na ujumbe wa kuenda kugawa pale Nyadhona. But what I'm going to share today Lakini kile ambacho naenda kugawa siku ya leo is what I started then Ni kile nilianza siku hiyo thinking that God was telling me something about the mother church Nikifikiria kwamba Mungu alikuwa ananiambia jambo kuhusu kanisa letu la mother church Only after prayer Na baada ya maombi seeking the Lord Na kumtafuta Bwana Last week I was in Mombasa I was praying about it wiki iliyopita nilikuwa mombasa nilikuwa naendelea kuombea hili jambo no other message na hakuna ujumbe mwingine i'll tell you which is this one nitakwambia ni upi let's open our bibles hebu tufungue biblia zetu philippians chapter 3 wa filipi 3 verse 12 13 and 14 12 13 14 tell you i'm ready for something ambia jirani yako niko tayari kwa kitu ask them are you ready yourself muulize weje wewe uko tayari hello hello you know i've been telling the church here najua nimekuwa nikiambia kanisa hapa when luke chapter 8 verse 40 jesus went again pale, to that place luka 8 40 yesu alipoenda tena mahali pale that all people everybody in the multitude received Jesus 
because they were waiting they yeah. were expecting yeah. him ya kwamba kila mtu katika ule umati alipokea Yesu kwa sababu alimtarajia make sure you are expectant aha ta angalia kwamba wewe uko unatarajio mothers go to the maternity ward because they expect kina mama wanaingia ile ward ya maternity kwa sababu wanatarajia If you walk to the labor ward as a mother walking like you are going to a, a wedding and you are not expecting anything somebody must question you Ukitembea ile labor ward wewe kama mama ukiwa umevalia ni kama unaenda kwa harusi kuna mtu ambaye atakuuliza swali You know when I speak and mother starts looking down it's like Understand what I'm saying For you to produce Na ili ukaweze kuwa na mazao You are pushed by some force of expectation Kuna ile jambo ambalo linakusukumia la kutarajia Amen Amen Somebody say amen Sema amina Not that I have already attained or am already perfected but I press on that I may lay hold of that for which Christ Jesus has also laid hold of me was the teen 13 brethren i do not count myself to have appreciated but one thing i do forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead 14 14 i press toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. My message is simple. I've written it as my season of moving forward. Jumbe wangu ni rahisi nimeandika kama majira yangu ya kusonga mbele. My come on put your hand on your chest. This is my season. Weka mkono wako kwa kifua chako. Haya ni majira yangu. Of moving forward. Ya kusonga mbele. In other English say this is my time. Ya kwamba huu ni wakati wangu to move forward. Wa kusonga mbele. This is my opportunity. Hii ni nafasi yangu to move forward. Ya kusonga mbele can you can I hear you shouting it nisikia ukisema my season majira yangu of moving forward ya kusonga mbele hallelujah hallelujah let me show you something practically hebu nikuonyeshe jambo when you are looking ahead wakati ambapo unaangalia unatazama mbele are you seeing people Unaona are you watu? seeing things unaona vitu Are you able to see things? Unaweza kuona vitu because your face is facing forward, isn't it? uso wako unaangalia mbele. At your back nyuma yako you are seeing nothing. Hakuna kitu ambacho unaona. And every time you turn your head. Na kila wakati ambapo ukipinduka there will be you are forward. Utakuwa na mbele yako and there will be you are behind. Na kutakuwa na nyuma yako. But let's go to the scriptures once again. Niwaje tuende kwa maandiko mara tena. So that we flow together. Na ili tuweze kuenda pamoja. Now apostle Paul Tume Pauli is writing to this church. Anaandikia hili kanisa. In Philippi. La wa Filipi. Verse number 12. Mstari wa 10 I have something in this verse that people have never realized. Niko na jambo katika huu mstari ambao watu hawajaisha mbwa. Every time we read the word, sababu kila wakati ambapo tunalisoma neno, we need to check on the details. Nastahili kuangalia kwa umakini. Bosses. Paulo akasema, not that I have already attained. Sio kwamba nimekwisha kufika. As much I have spoken to you about these things of faith. Maana ya kwamba nimwanenea sana kuhusu mambo ya imani. I have not attained. Sijakamilika. I'm not already perfected. Mimi sio mkamilifu. But what I'm doing? Lakini kile ambacho nafanya. I am pressing on. Ninangengana ama nakaza wewe. In other words, na kwa maneno mengine. There are areas I'm forcing my way. Kuna mahali ambapo ninajilazimisha kupita. I am pressing on. Ninakaza mwendo. I am putting 
putting some pressure kuna nguvu ninayoweka i'm not just sitting waiting for chances to arise but i feel i am pressing on lakini nasikia kwamba ninakaza mwendo it's like i am in a rush ni kama niko mbioni i have to get to the end na lazima nifike pale mwisho why is he pressing on kwa nini anakaza mwendo i may hold na ili akaweze kushika i may lay hold nika akaweze kushika of that for which christ jesus has also laid hold of me lile ambalo kunaye yesu kristo amelishika umesikia hiyo kiswahili hebu rudi hapo that is where i'm going bali nakaza mwendo ili nipate kushika lile ambalo kwa ajili yake nimeshikwa na kristo yesu nimeshikwa mimi Many people reading and especially in English they say Watu wengi wakisoma hata kwa kizungu wanasema I am pressing on Ya kwamba nakaza mwendo to go and take hold Ili nienze nishike of that thing kile kitu which Christ is holding for me Ambacho Kristo ameshika kwa ajili yangu There's no like that Haiko hivyo Tell your neighbor it's not like that Ambia jirani yako si hivyo I repeat the mistakes so that you hear. Na rudia ujumbe ili ukaweze kusikia. When many people read that verse, this is the way they interpret. Watu wengi wakisoma hivi ndivyo wanavyoelewa. I am pressing on. Ya kwamba mimi ninakaza mwendo so that I may hold, I may get hold, take hold. Na ili nikaweze kushika of that thing. Kile ambacho ama kile kitu that Christ is holding. Ambacho Kristo ameshika for me. Kwa ajili yangu. Can I tell you the truth? Hebu nikwambie ukweli. Everything is free in the hands of Jesus. Kila kitu ni bure mikononi mwa Kristo. For you to receive. Kwako kupokea. What Christ is holding. Kile ambacho Christ so anashika it is you ni wewe tell your neighbor it is me ambia jirani yako ni mimi christ is holding me yes christo ananishika mimi that i may receive na ili nikaweze kupokea that which i am pressing on for kile ambacho nakaza mwendo kwake why did christ hold you kwa nini christo alikushika lini i like apostle paul when he say paul anasema i have become a slave and a servant of this gospel mtumwa na mtumishi wa hii injili by the grace of our lord Jesus Christ. I have been held by Christ. Let me tell you something. Where Christ is holding you. And where he is with you. He is the one determining so many things that you think about. And because he held you. You have a raise of faith. That you must press on. Lazima ukaze mwendo. Because you are already in other words, you are already governed. Kwa maneno mengine umefunikwa mwa shikilia. Na ya Yesu wetu Kristo. You are already at, at the law of grace. Uko chini ya neema. And because Christ has monitored you. Na kwa sababu Kristo anakutazama. That is why you don't go abusing anybody. Kwa sababu wewe ukitusi watu. That's why you can go home safely when others are going through sin. That's why you can afford to say no to ungodliness. Why? Because Christ is holding you. Christ is governing you. Now because of that, because of your walk in the grace, we are pressing on because the reason why Jesus is holding me there is a greatness ahead there is great victory for me there is great celebration for me understand this when they tell you it's like you don't enjoy life you know with your christianity with this commitment in the church this commitment in the gospel it's like you don't enjoy life let me tell you Jesus Christ is holding you for something Jesus Christ is holding you for something 
I am not just in the air I have something I am looking forward The reason why My muscles of fighting Physically have been held By Christ Is because I have something I'm waiting for. Hello. Hello. Don't look at me. Don't look at your brother or your sister walking in humility and you think that is a dead lion. I want to declare that is a mighty force because he is only governed by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let me show you this. I want to talk to your heart and your faith. It is enough. I say enough is enough. We must move forward. Because we have the concept of why we are going there. If there was nothing there. Hey, I would be comfortable elsewhere. But because I have a target. Because I have a target. The Lord is holding me. Because I will aid in a better place. That's why I can move on. Look at verse 13. Somebody. Verse 13. Brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended. But one thing I do, I like that. Forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead. Amen. Amen. Ndugu si jithani nafasi yangu kwamba nimekwisha kushika Ila natenda neno moja tu Nikia sahau ya lio nyuma Nikia chuchumilia ya lio mbele Ah, forgetting those things that are behind. And reaching forward to those things which are ahead. Start by telling your neighbor ahead. 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 Forward. Days are gone for Christian to remain around. Siku zimekwisha za wa Kristo kukama hala pamoja kuzunguka. Staying like we are going nowhere. Kukani kana kwamba hakuna mahali tunapoenda. Sitting in the same places with the heathens and it's like we are going nowhere. Kukama hali pamoja na wasi wa amini kana kwamba kuna hali tunaenda. Lazima tufu. We are going somewhere. Kuna mahali tunaenda. We are going forward. Kuna mahali tunasonga mbele. Listen, even in the spiritual realm. I declare to spirit and to devils This army This army Is going forward This army is going forward In all areas Listen to me My prayer life Is moving forward yeah, To get the results my finances are moving forward. My progress is moving forward. Yes, somebody listen. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to bargain again. If it is Christ. Who told me hold on Walk by my statutes My, my will If it is Christ and no man Then I don't need to bargain today I need to declare in the spiritual world I am moving forward I am moving forward, am moving forward. There are some things to forget behind you. Ah, there are some things to forget behind you. Listen to me, church. Many people they fail to move forward because of three perceptions. Number one, it is where they are. 
And number two, na la pili, the uncertainty of where they are going. Kutokuwa na hakika ya wanakuelekea. And number three, na la tatu, the memories of where they are coming from. Aha, ma ma fikire ya mahala mapo na talk. Let me repeat. Ebu ni ni three challenges and hindrances. Changa moto tatu. Number one, la kuanza. It is the experience of where they are. Ni mahali ambapo walipo mapo waliopata pale. And number two. Na pili, and the uncertainty of where they are going. Akutakuwa na uhakika wana wanapoelekea. And number 3. Na tatu, the negative memories of where they are coming from. Ma, mawazo kinyume ya mahali ambapo wanatoka. And the moment you deal with those three perceptions and perspectives. Na bahana na wakati ambapo utangangana na haya mambo matatu. You'll be walking and nobody Utakuwa ukitembea na hakuna na no kitu hata mtu wala no shetani wala shetani no mountain wala mlima can stop you itakayo kusimamisha Tell your moving forward. I don't care how 2023 was behaving. Past, personally, I have a testimony that I had the favor of God. I have seen the common favor of God. And those who may be saying, maybe I have lost a lot in 2020. The reason why you did not lose everything is because God's favor was upon you. If the uncommon favor was not upon you, you could be counting nothing now. So listen to this word. This season, I say this season my life is motivated to move forward in other words I'm dislodging from where I have been stagnant and I'm going steps and steps forward hello hello now, let me show you verse 14 is important. Let's close with 14. What is he doing? I press toward the goal for, for the price of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Na kaza muendo nifikirie thawabu ya mwito mkuu wa mungu katika Christo Yesu. Now, the issue of Christ holding you Amambo ya Christo kuwa megushika. Now you can see it there. Sasa uneza yona mahali pali. You are held by Christ. Meshikwa na Christo. Within the force of the calling. Katika nguvu za mwito. He has called you upward. Hame kuwita. Heavenward. Ukielekea binguni. Tell your neighbor not downward. Sio chini. Upward. Ni ukielekea juu. Ah, listen to me. As we move forward, we are not going down. We are going upward. I declare even your personal life will start scaling higher. Scaling higher. Come on, if you have faith, shout Jesus. Yes. You see, he says, I press toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. And we look at when you look at the the Apostle Paul as he is talking. There is something you will find in him as a real example that Apostle Paul did not allow anything to hold him back knowing that he was held by Christ. When you look at the, the book of Acts clearly. I think it's chapter 20. It is chapter 20, yes. Where, 
where you fight no, no, 20 or 24 okay where you fight the apostle paul mahali ambapo utapata mtume paul listening to some prophets akisikiza manabii and they were telling him na walikuwa wanamwambia the owner of this belt ya kwamba mwenye mshipi huu the owner of this belt mwenye mshipi huu are you getting uh-huh. the owner of this belt mwenye mshipi huu if he dares go to jerusalem kama ataenenda yerusalem they are going to kill him watamuua and because paul was the owner of the belt kwa sababu paulo ndiye alikuwa mwenye ule mshipi he could not allow his belt to hold him the wrong place hanga ruhusu mshipi wake mshike mahali ambapo hapastahili he said it doesn't matter akasema haijalishi i am ready to go mimi niko tayari kuanga i'm ready to go forward niko tayari kusonga mbele even if not only to be arrested actually the issue was about arresting walikuwa wanamwambia kwamba atakamatwa you will be held kama atashikwa but he said i'm not only ready for any holy i'm even ready to die siko tayari ziogopi kushikwa Why? because what is motivating me kwa sababu kile ambacho kilimpa nguvu is higher than any of what you are telling me kina nguvu kuliko ama kiko juu kuliko vile mnavyoniambia can i say something unaweza sema kitu whatever is surrounding you kile there kile ambacho kinakuzingira mahali pale has no power to hold you back kina nguvu ya kushika pale you can break every chain break every bell and move forward unaweza vunja kila mshipi kila nyororo na usonge mbele katika jina la Yesu I say in the name of Jesus katika jina la Yesu Let me let me show you from Exodus chapter number 14 Kunionyesha kutoka kutoka 14 Exodus 14 Kutoka 14 Ask your neighbor do you love the word Ambia uliza jirani yako je unalipenda neno If you look at verse number 14 Kiangalia mstari wa 14 I know we have the story of these people Najua tuna hadithi ya hao watu The children of Israel Wana wa Israeli They have already left Egypt Wamesha wamekushatoka Misri Actually the moment they left Sukoth Na walipotoka pale Sukoth The journey began and it was in the wilderness Safari kaanza na ilikuwa pale jangwani Listen to this Sukkot is normally it is normally called the place of comfort shelter it's a shelter Sukkot ni mahali ambapo pana kivuli But any time you get out of Sukkot Lakini kila wakati unapotoka pale Sukkot you may go through the wilderness Unaweza pitia jangwa but for a purpose Lakini kwa sababu ya kusudi something ahead Kwa sababu kwa kwa kitu mbele I don't know who will tell Christians Sijui ni nani ataambia wa Kristo that the promises of God Ya kwamba nazo ahadi za Bwana are within the movement it is you must get out of somewhere and and you move to where the blessings are. Kwa bahadi za Bwana ziko katika kutembea, lazima utoke mahali ukielekea kwingine. In other words, kwa maneno mengine, the blessings and the you know promises of God. Baraka na ahadi zake Bwana. For you to reach where they are. Na ili ukaweze kufika mahali zipo. There is a journey. Kuna safari. From one glory to the higher one. Kutoka kwa utukufu mmoja hadi ule ulio juu. There is some space in between. Kuna nafasi hapo katikati. And this is where many people lose it. Na hapa ndipo watu wengi wanapoteza. They don't know that along that journey. Hawajui ya kwamba katika ile safari you must press on lazima ukaze mwendo you must mwendo. fight the obstacles lazima upigane na yaliyo zuilia now the children of israel wana wa israeli after leaving baada ya kutoka they are now on their way sasa wako njiani but they came to a place wakafika mahali where they had to camp ambapo ilibidi wapaweke mema it is god himself who designed that na ni mungu mwenyewe aliyepanga hivyo he said akasema i will not take them through the short route sitawapitisha ile njia fupi it would have taken them only 21 days to get to kanani wapeleka siku 21 pekee kufika kanani but the reason why they are going through the longer route lakini sababu ambayo inafanya wapitie njia ndefu it is because god has a plan ni kwa sababu and God wants to manifest himself even on the long route hata kwa ile njia ndefu listen to me hebu skiza the longer the route may be ah njia ilivyo ndefu the more the miracles 
Baraka ndivyo zilivyo mimi. Hey, I'm telling somebody who feels like you have Na delayed. Na mtu ambaye ni kama umechelewa. The more the longer the route. Jiko jinsi njia ilivyo ndefu. The more the miracles. Hivyo ndivyo baraka zilivyo mingi. It is on that route you will know what I can gash out Katika of this. Katika ile njia ambayo utaweza kujua ni nini ambayo unaweza toa. That water can come out of a rock. Hapo ndivyo unaweza jua kwamba maji inaweza toka kwa kwa fuwe. Can come from the heavens. Chakula chaweza toka binguni. That you know even ways can be created where there is no way. Hapo unajua kwamba hata njia zaweza tengenezwa. Tell your neighbor I may have taken long. Ambia wengine ninajua nimekawia. But I'm counting miracles. Lakini nahesabu miujiza. I am counting miracles. Ninahesabu miujiza. I am moving forward. Ninasonga mbele. But these children of Israel. Lakini hao wana wa Israeli. They started complaining. Wakaanza kunugunika. Where they were is right in the wilderness nilikuwa katikati jangwani ahead of them na mbele yao is the red sea ilikuwa ni huo mto behind them na nyuma yao is the memory of what is behind them that is the chariot and the horses and the kumbuka zile vitu walivyoa and the soldiers of pharaoh aha yale jeshi lile jeshi la farao and when they could remember the way they were beating them na wakikumbuka vile walivyokuwa wakipigwa and then they are seeing them behind them na wanaona nyuma yao it was hell for them ilikuwa ni kuzimu kwao so where they were there kwa hivyo wakiwa mahali pale listen to what people who are careless those people who don't want to go for listen to what they say hebu sikiza wale watu ambao hawataki kuendea mbele wanavyosema moses musa you mean there were no graves unataka kusema ya kwamba tulipotoka kukuwa kama kaburi in other words na kwa maneno mengine you would have allowed them to kill us where we are in their country ungewaruhusu watu wao wakati tulipokuwa kwao instead of bringing us here they kill us and we are not well buried badala ya kutuleta hapo watu wao na hatutazikwa vizuri that is the spirit of religion hiyo ni roho ya dini to be buried well hawakuzikwa vizuri and they are no graves hakwani ya kukuwa makaburi in egypt kule Misri that you are bringing us to die here Nipozo na tuleta hapa tufe hapa would have served them tungeendelea kuwatumikia look at that uh-huh. instead Kwa of knowing what god had said badala ya kusikiza na kujua vile mungu alivyosema let my people go ya kwamba wacha watu wangu waende they may serve me ili waende wanitumikie they are here saying sasa wako hapa wakisema we better had served them ni heri tungekaa kule tuwatumikie instead of coming here badala ya kuja hapa in the wilderness where god has called you to serve him he still has the power to sustain you he has the power to keep you alive tell your neighbor i'm not dying i am not dying spiritually i'm not dying physically i am not dying financially i am not dying materially Yeah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at that. Hebu angalie hiyo. Moses told them. Musa akawaambia, The Lord Bwana will fight for you. Atawapigania ninyi. And you shall hold your peace. Nanyi mtanyamaza kimya. In other words, maneno mengine. Please cool down. Ya kwamba nyamazeni ama tulieni. Cool down. Be still. Tulieni. Be still. Tulieni. And you see his salvation. Na muone wokovu wake. That's what it says there before. But come. Hivyo ninavyoendelea kusema. Now let's come to verse 15. Mstari wa 15. Verse 15. Mstari wa 15. And the Lord said to Moses, Bwana akamwambia Musa, Why do you cry to me? Mbona unanililia mimi? Tell the children of Israel. Waambia wana wa Israeli to do what? Waendelee mbele. Hey. This is the voice of the Lord. Hii ndio sauti ya Bwana. Bishop telling the members and the leaders and the clergy of Jenelim. Askofu akiambia wa viongozi na wachungaji wa Jenelim. Go forward. Ya kwamba songeni mbele. I say go 
forward you may feel threatened by what you are hearing behind you so many stones have been thrown at your back others are ahead you are seeing all danger but listen to me today you have no option Hauna lingine but to go bila kusonga mbele Genelim vision has nothing else to do but to go forward. Listen to me, Kabete. You must go forward. Listen to me, Industrial Kingston. You must move forward. Listen to me, Gilgil. Nakuru. Headquarters. Nyathona. Sagana. Biri. Nakuru. Everywhere, Joro. We have no option but to go forward. Talk to yourself. Talk to your heart. Talk. Tell your life. Tell your life. Yes, yes, my life. Yes, you are disappointed by many. <laughs> but you have no option. Your best is ahead. Hey. Your best is ahead. You must move ahead. In Jesus' name. We are not dying in the wilderness. We are not dying in service. We are going to celebration. We are like Joshua and Caleb. We shall get there. We will get our mountain. Hebron is our portion. In Jesus' name. I say hallelujah. Listen to me. Listen to me. Why? Are you crying to me? Kwa that is God asking Moses. I don't know why I feel like to test somebody here. You are crying chapter is closing now. I declare in the name of Jesus. Somebody's cry of shame is closing the chapter now in Jesus name I declare somebody's cry in your family in your marriage in your health your cry is closing now and you are moving forward you cannot afford to remain in a place where you cannot move to your promises in the name of Jesus why do you cry move forward go forward yes in the name of Jesus you have been messed up you have been spoiled much they have spoken much against you they have said all manner of things they have looked at you from another dimension thinking you are nothing thinking you are adding up to nothing I declare to every sector of your life you are moving forward you are moving forward. You are moving forward. You are moving forward. You are moving forward. I'm seeing in the spiritual world it is written all over. Something I'm seeing jump started. Jump started. There is, it's like, it's like something has started working. Something has started vibrating. Oh, hallelujah. Something has started moving. Something has started operating. In the name of Jesus. 
my season to move forward is now let me tell somebody in this hall you thought you had seen it you have seen nothing yet from today believe the words of the prophet I said believe the word of the prophet some of the words that have been thrown at you like a platform to kill you I am seeing a stepping stone I'm seeing a stepping stone you are moving in the name of Jesus listen listen to this listen to this when you look at these people they have lost balance how many people knew that for you to keep balance where you are riding your bicycle you have to keep moving try to sit on a bicycle and you try to balance you will fall after 2-3 minutes but the bicycle moving whether you feel like there is no grease and oil on the wheels but as long as the bicycle is moving you are on balance you are on balance I speak to every Christian here I speak to every leader I speak to every pastor you must keep moving for you to be in balance for them to stop talking ill of you for them to stop bringing you down for you to be in balance hey, come on, touch somebody tell them keep moving keep moving keep moving keep moving keep moving keep moving and uh, listen, listen. I, I, Mimi. I can go anywhere as long as I'm moving forward. I can go anywhere as long as I am moving forward. forward. 2024 is coming. But let me tell you this. From today, as we go to 31st of December, take a season, take some days, pray and fast. Wait upon the Lord. In 2024, this season of moving forward will become so clear. Because what I'm seeing in the spirit, I see so many projects and programs labeled. They are, they, they are Jam started. It's like they have been jam started. You had an idea. You had a vision. You had a plan. You had a project. Whether building, whether buying your land, whether going for education. I declare right now. It doesn't matter how strong it will begin. But I see jump started. Jump started. Hey, hallelujah. hallelujah. When the battery of a vehicle is Dead. and you have no choice you don't have a new one 
they you invite another driver with their vehicle unatafuta driver mwingine na gari yake and you have some wires na una kuna zile wire you connect from that battery unashikanisha kwa ile battery and connect to yours na kwa battery yako and when you do the start na ukianzisha ile gari kugurudisha gari as long as you are fresh battery is running the engine of the car is running engine ya mwenzako inaendelea you are start giving Now yako inaanza Somebody hold here hold here hold here hold here I declare in the name of Jesus Inatangaza katika jina la Yesu My engine is running Kwa sababu engine yangu inaendelea May you be jump started Na yako iweze kujamp May you flow Na yako iweze kuanza May you gain strength Na ipate nguvu May you be lifted Na upate nguvu May you increase Uongezeke May you grow Na ukue May you develop Na ukue In Jesus name Katika jina la Yesu Hallelujah Hallelujah Jump start your neighbor the other neighbor the other neighbor tell them Niku jump start Niku jump start Yes may you jump start may you move may you move forward may you increase may your region grow may your branch increase may you be favored financially spiritually mentally physically in Jesus name Yere kasaka yanaba reke posaka Tayanda we are moving forward we are moving forward yay haya 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 i i feel there is a move Inaskia kuna kusonga. It is not going to air at that door. Na itafika mwisho pale kwa ule mlango. It is going to light in your place. Ina itaenda kuwaka hata mahali ulipo. Please 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 get me right. Hebu niwelewe vizuri. You have relatives around you. Una ma watu wa ukoo wako when you live here ukitoka mahali hapa over this week let me give you the next seven days hata ni wape siku saba zijazo and sure you lay hands on them hakikisha kwamba umewekelea mikono and tell them you are moving forward na uambia kwamba tunasonga mbele if you have children in school kama uko na watoto kwa shule come on tell them it's time to move forward uambie huu ndio wakati wa kusonga yeah hallelujah hallelujah They are no longer stupid they are no longer silly they are blessed they are moving forward they are not the tails but the heads If you have business go and speak to it Kama uko na biashara aenda uinene Go and write on it Aenda wani uiandike Season of moving forward Kama hadi ya majira ya kusonga mbele Do not hesitate Na usikose ya kufanya hivyo Do not hide Usifiche Tell it Aiambie Let's tell our churches our branches I declare to Jenelim headquarters Ah it is your time to move forward Listen to me ladies of the church You are moving forward Men of the church You are moving forward Listen to me the youth You are moving forward Where are the ushers wherever you are say I am moving forward We are declaring to the Sunday school the teenagers we are moving forward Moving forward Let me I I want I want to bring it to a point and then we pray Nataka kuileta mahali fulani alafu tuombe Did you know that the Red Sea was a barrier? And even what they were fearing behind. And the wilderness they were seeing. It was nowhere in the issue of their journey. Haikuwa mahali popote katika mpangilio wa safari yao. And for all the other things to be defeated the wilderness and their enemies behind the way forward was so important to be created. Na ili haya yote yakaweza kushindwa kusonga mbele ndio ilikuwa ya maana sana. And when the Red Sea 
the waters separated. And they started moving. That was the beginning of the plan to destroy their enemies. The enemies that are chasing after you. They only need one button. Your movement forward. And the moment you move. Their destruction procedure and methodology has begun. I declare this. Even the spirit of poverty that has been chasing after us that you can't come three vehicles because yeah, of fuel. Listen to me. Where the fuel will go to 500. The moment we start moving forward. You see your enemy perishing. Hey, hey. God, I want to move forward. In this ministry, I want to move forward. And every other enemy will start corrupting. Look at this. Our God is not in a hurry to start dealing with the enemies following you. Because you are the one at the top of his agenda. So once he opens the door for you, your enemies are collapsing automatically. Your Every, everything that is disturbing you. Oh my goodness. Now look at this. I see something very unique. It's coming. When David had Goliath in front of him. One thing he did. And it is very strange. Where everybody else in the army. Was stuck. And others going backwards. In 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse number 48. And the man David, Daudi, when he got the sling and the stone, upeo, he never looked back. And he never walked slowly. He ran to watch the enemy. Do you know why? The way ahead of him. That which looked like the obstacle. It was the platform. Of the promises of the king. Whoever will kill this one. Their family will be made rich. He will be given the daughter of the king to marry. And their family will not pay taxes. Woo! I wish it was me in Kenya. In the Kenya <laughs> that I will not pay taxes. But David did this. The reason why he is running forward very fast. Is because. Since he had those words of promise. He went asking what has the king promised. Between the time he had those words. And the time of accomplishment. If he jokes around. Somebody else might come from nowhere and kill Goliath. So he is motivated by the promise. Pressing on towards the goal. Hey. And 
That's why he is running towards the enemy. And listen to me. Let enemies try to be at my side or behind. But dare come ahead. ahead. Tunapita na wao. Tunapita na wao. Yeah, tunapita na wao. We will pass with them. If this is where the path is for me to be in state house. For me to have the king's daughter to marry. For me to make my family free from taxes. For, for me to open doors for my people to be free from poverty. Hey, I cannot entertain. I cannot allow and I am moving with the speed because it is my time to move forward. It is my time. I say it's my time. This is my season to move forward. Hey. Hallelujah. 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 Let me finish with this. You normally talk and read about the four lepers. You know how them. When? <laughs> Yay! Yay! Rowan Atembea. Now listen, with the four lepers, this is what I see. If you found them seated uh, there outside the gate, you would say they are okay because they are next to their city. Are you getting? But for them, they knew the city chased us out. We are here. And they got a revelation. Now that nobody is giving us anything here where we are sitting, then that tells you they are also starving. They have no food. As long as there was nothing coming there, Away. from Samaria it was enough motivation for them to say we will not stay here again because now we realize if we stay here no food is coming we will die if we go back to where they chase us from we will die so what do we do? We better risk forward. We better risk forward. Hey, we better risk forward. I break the fear of unknown. I break every fear of uncertainty. The leper said, let's go. If they are killing us, we better die who are doing something. Tell your neighbor it is better to die for something than to live for nothing. It is better to die for something than to live for nothing. Hey, hey, hey. You know, you know, you know the feeling those feelings, we must fight them. Supposing we try and we fall on the way. Supposing I lay the foundation of my house and people start laughing at me. Supposing I buy that bicycle for ministry, that motorbike for ministry. Supposing I dare having a car and I miss fuel. Oh no! We are moving forward. We are moving forward. 
Supposing I take that loan and then I'm auctioned. You should know there are people who took loans and they have never been auctioned. You don't belong, you don't belong to the losers. You belong to the winners. So the fallen past said, let's move. Ah, this is where I like it most. However weak you are. As long as it is a step forward. You are no longer now suspended by your own metabolism and health. You are held by the dynamic voice of the Almighty God. They were operating in a place where the prophet of God Elisha had already declared tomorrow a time like this one at the gate of Samaria where they were seated at the gate of Samaria it had already been declared by the prophet that food will be sold cheap. so as they are daring they are now suspended by the voice of heaven that is saying tomorrow a time like this one there shall be food one shekel only will buy floor so as they are moving hey, come on come on somebody I want to I want you to operate in this season under the voice of my word. I have spoken this word. It is your season to move forward. You can dare under that voice. And whatever could not be found in Samaria. The four lepers are going for it. They got nothing to give us. But we are coming to bring them. They said we were so weak. We are not only coming to them, but even to the king to tell him there is food. Hey. These are economic jam status. Ooh. They were weak, yes. But by moving forward to where the food is, they are energized. They are moving and the stepping of their movement was a loud voice. The Bible says when Jehovah speaks even the tall Lebanon trees fall. Hallelujah. Amen. Please Give somebody a high five. Tell them, I am moving forward. I am moving forward. Yeah, I am moving forward. Including my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pastors, I declare. Pastors, I declare in your branches, even finances are going forward. I declare giving is increasing forward. I announce right now members of our branches, they are going forward to new opportunities. 
Hallelujah. I see companies opening. I see department growing. Department oh yes, I see doors opening. Because they are ahead. Ahead. Forward. I see the year 2024. Many plans are coming. Even for development. We shall open people's houses. We shall bless people's cars. We shall bless people's plots. We shall celebrate with the people's children. In the name of Jesus. I see certificates are coming. In the name of Jesus. May doors of weddings open in the name of Jesus. May the ministry increase in the name of Jesus. I say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Finally, as I close, may we take territories. That are ahead of us. They are not behind us. They are ahead of us. In your mind. In your spirit. In your hand. In your planning. Please dare to move forward. Dare to move forward. I break all the barriers right now. If the Lord opened the way in the middle of the sea. Listen to this. We are moving forward. I want to close with the, Joshua chapter 3 and then I'll sit. Joshua chapter 3. Joshua chapter 3. Joshua mlango wa tatu. Hello. As long as it is ahead of you. It has to give way. Lazima ipeane njia. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. On a light touch. Now looking at. Joshua chapter 3. Joshua tatu. Mm, hallelujah. Hallelujah. This now we can close. Hapa sasa tuweza funga. Verse 14. Kuminane. So it was. When the people set out from their camp. To cross over the Jordan. With the priests bearing the ark of the covenant. Before the people. Look at that. Very very important. The, the, the people have been prepared by Joshua. They are now crossing to where the promised lad is. Let alone the Red Sea. This is the real thing now. Because after this, they are getting to the promised land. But what will happen? They had to start moving. They set out from their camp. Which is that camp? Let me declare to your life. Every camp that has been giving you false comfort. Making you to think you can settle there. Simply because you get small tokens. Simply because you are housed maybe in the government. Simply because you are eating, you have enough to eat and to sleep. 
That is not the promise. You have come from Egypt. The land of not enough. Where you are is the land of just enough. The promise in Canaan. When the Bible says a land flowing with milk and honey, it is a land of more than enough. Church, listen to me. We must go to that land where you shall not only be holding your offering of that Sunday. You are very good in planning. I have done my tithing. I have food for my children. I have 50 bob every Sunday for offering. That is a lot of just enough for you. We are breaking forth and we are getting to the land of more than enough. You will not be scared when the pastor introduces a second offering. You mean he wants us to give again to bless the speaker who came to speak. You will not be hiding to the toilet. Members will not be hiding. They will be enjoying the land of more than enough. May God lift us that in the land of the promise we get there. Hallelujah. 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 I'll never forget, and I'm not bragging. There is a place in Kiambu where there is a man who stays at a very sharp corner. There is a man who guides vehicles. And he expects to get something. So many times I pass through there. But one day, I decided to stop. Then when I went to the wallet, I had no loose note. Apart from thousands. I produced the thousand. And I gave that man. Okay, I was feeling like he needed, I should have given 200. But after releasing it, and I saw him shocked, Maybe he thought it's fake note. But after releasing it, I drove saying, but who am I? I should give more than my imagination. And I said, maybe he has found not only supper, but even a textbook for his son. Tell your neighbor, I wish you more than enough. I wish you more than enough. But even when you are calculating your time as a, as a leader, you are calculating, repeating again and again. You can't, you can't allow it to go. Hata wakati unahesabu fungu la kumi, unahesabu mara tena na tena kwa sababu utaki ikue zaidi, utaki pite. Tell you, I'm moving forward. I'm moving forward. Verse 15, so that we close. Now I'm closing, seriously. And as those who bore the ark came to the Jordan, and the feet of the priest who bore the ark dipped in the edge of the water 
Hey, come on. Let me tell every reader here. Every pastor. Every reader. Do I have priest here? Do I have priest here? Do I have priest here? You must step into the water. You must dare. If the others are to come, if members of watch branches will thrive and flourish, it must be the priest to step forward and touch the water. In other words, you touch the obstacle. Once you step there, the rest will be history. But there is and into bracket there. For the Jordan overflows all its banks during the whole time of harvest. Now, question number one. Where is the harvest? Ahead. 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 River Jordan is here. The harvest is in the promised land. But God has stationed it this week. The time they are coming to cross over. It is the season of flood. It's, a, it's amazing about God. God is not bothered by the overflow of water. What he knows it is according to his war clock. In it is time of harvest. And my children must get there and stop eating manna and they start eating the harvest. They did not plant. But the Bible says we shall eat even from where we did not plant. We shall get a vineyard. So what they are going to do? It is either they fail to cross over because they are fearing the flood or they dare so that they get to the harvest. Stand up, stand, 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 stand on your feet. And stand on your feet. I announce to everybody under my voice every obstacle ahead of you is not your concentration. You are concentrating on the harvest. I have a promise. I have a promise. I have a promise and my God is able to deal with all the obstacles as long as I dare stepping forward I'll get my harvest somebody say I'm moving forward I am moving forward forgetting what is behind I press on to get hold of that for which Christ is holding me I declare in the name of Jesus as you pray this two minutes or three minutes trust that your life will no longer be the same again you have come to a season a season of moving forward that you may get to the goal that you may receive your harvest in the name of Jesus. I declare to every one of us as we pray in the name of Jesus in our moving forward we have a breakthrough we have a breakthrough we have a connection we have a network I declare international network I declare regional network 
network in the name of Jesus it is my season to go forward I want to hear you praying for yourself pray for yourself pray for your family pray for your children pray for your parents pray for your spouse pray for your pastor pray for your leaders pray for everybody that pertains to you today we are moving forward we are moving forward we are moving forward we are moving forward every barrier is broken every wall is broken every hindrance is broken every devil is losing grip destroy that at our feet in the name of Jesus my God and my Father oh Jehovah Rakashandaraba Yereketerebakayanda my God, my God, my God. Ore kamasaka tayada. Makaraba sheteketa. Marato ziara bekanda. Shiketere babo kandoloba. In the name of Jesus. I declare in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let your people. Let your people in increase in favor. Let your people in increase in strength. Let your people in increase in power. Makata ya zekara. Remando robolobo shakata. Marekante rizigai manasheta. Yombo kasa kata ya raba. Yere pasekete rabo. In the name of Jesus. Just hold your hold your hands one on one. I may not invite people here. I want to close, but to hold somebody's hand as an indicator of unity in faith. We 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 are we are in this season. And our God has set the seasons. But it's only one tribe of Jacob that managed to sense Ambalo the seasons. The tribe of Isaac. But today, Lakini leo, I want to declare this tribe. The tribe of Genelim. The tribe under Jesus Christ. The tribe in the body of Christ. That we are sensing the season. And I declare that every week and feeble feet. They shall move forward. Let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. This is the season to get to our harvest. The year 2024. The year of moving forward. I declare it shall come to us. And we are getting to major harvest. In the name of Jesus. Oh, I see things changing. Mm. Ah, hallelujah. I see even in people's houses some things are changing to new things. 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 In the territory of the Lord.
hiyo territory ya Mungu I declare change in the name of Jesus I speak new strength to move forward ya kusonga mbele I declare regenerated health natangaza nguo kuutiwa nguvu mara tena in your health katika afya yako in the name of Jesus I declare a motivation natangaza kutiwa nguvu within your spirit katika roho yako to move forward na ili ukaweze kusonga mbele in the name of Jesus come rain comes we shall not turn back we shall not be stuck we are moving forward in the name of Jesus my God and my Father let it be established even in the records of our mindset that we shall not remain yeah. down because of the flood but we are going to the harvest 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 harvest, harvest. harvest. in the name of Jesus and my father as your children hold hands release this grace may the grace be upon each one of them in a disappointed soul is now in the appointment of moving forward everyone is encouraged even those that we are leading in our branches motivated to move forward marriages are not breaking they are moving forward the love of God is flowing I declare businesses are not closing instead more are opening in the chain in the name of Jesus I declare the economy of heaven to dictate our affairs in the name of Jesus I declare the heavenly economic power to operate within our houses in the name of Jesus Father we thank you and we give you praise as we celebrate you Jesus we thank you for the season in the name of the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit let's celebrate Jesus as a Christian hallelujah 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 hallelujah